in this video we will discuss about hypercomma globulinemia what is hypercomma globulinemia basically increase level of this comma globulin seen in blood it detected with electrophoresis and in which condition it is increased that we will look so increase level of the comma globulin in the blood it detected with electrophoresis in which condition it is increased that will we want to discuss first about electrophoretic pattern when serum sample run over the electrophoresis particular albumin and globulin band are seen when serum sample run over electrophoresis particularly that albumin and globulin band are seen now globulin band that also divided into globulin band divided into alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and comma globulin so this globulin band divided into alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and comma this one will show normal pattern this one is the normal pattern of electrophoresis some differences are seen in the patient with chronic inflammation this one is the normal pattern this one is the chronic infection when serum sample of chronic infection infected patient is run and this type of pattern is same some different between normal and chronic infection some difference are seen in normal and chronic infection so the first different that is the comma globulin first different comma globulin region that is predominant comma globulin region are seen predominant comma globulin seen comma globulin region showing a different between these two pattern see here these two pattern different further alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 globulin that also showing a prominence and this alpha 1 and alpha 2 is due to that primary immune response IgM while comma globulin IgG is showing secondary immune response this one shows primary immune response this one shows secondary immune response so basically chronic infection there is broad globulin region seen that is indicating chronic infection apart from that as compensatory action that level of chronic infection here that albumin range level decreasing albumin range decreasing in detail of this chronic infection in which condition that will discussed where antibody production is high example mostly in so uh, comma globulin showing secondary immune response alpha 1 alpha 2 due to primary immune response this one because of igm antibody this one because of igg antibody basically chronic infection shows the broad globulin region broad globulin region then compensatory albumin level is decreasing in chronic infection where antibody production is high example mostly in leprosy tuberculosis syphilis malaria kala azar as well as sub acute bacterial endocarditis all these 
chronic infection that comma globulin level increasing that is indicating comma globulinemia further aberrant aberrant immune reaction mostly they are autoimmune disorders such as glomerulonephritis such as glomerulonephritis then cryoglobulin may also be present in general all the immunoglobulin level increase that is called polyclonal type all the immunoglobulin level increases that name is called as polyclonal type all the immunoglobulin level increases that is called as polyclonal type one more variety that is para proteinemias most important different that is particularly one type of light chain or heavy chain or one particular type of immunoglobulin level find to be increased in para proteinemias condition mostly immunoglobulin that uh, multiple myeloma and walden strom macroglobinemia these are the one type of immunoglobulin or one type of heavy chain or light chain find to be increased it is called as monoclonal type so here in the condition of multiple myeloma walden strom macroglobinemia condition these are the one type of immunoglobulin or one or one type of light chain or heavy chain find to be increased it is called as monoclonal type of increased level of globulin uh, these are the main reason for comma globulinemia condition again detail about that electrophoretic pattern will look two particular normal pattern are seen this one is the normal pattern and two different electrophoretic pattern are same so we can identify from these electrophoretic pattern acute and chronic infection when serum sample applied to main difference uh, differentiation albumin and globulin globulin that is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 beta and comma globulin so particularly chronic infection in the case of chronic infection a chronic condition globulin level to be increased sometimes alpha 1 alpha 2 increased but uh, compensatory um, decrease albumin level but uh, decreasing albumin level increasing globulin level alpha 1 and alpha 2 this pattern you can see you can identify particular immunoglobulin level is increased and suggest a chronic infection that is all about chronic infection over electrophoretic pattern uh, now what about that acute infection acute infection basically these acute in, uh, inflammation will be same in compensatory some loss in that albumin but uh, particularly alpha 2 region showing alpha 2 region showing a prominence may be due to that particular IgM immunoglobulin so reduced albumin and increased alpha 2 that is indicating acute inflammation broad based increasing comma region generally increased alpha 1 alpha 2 band comparatively a reduction in albumin band this one is the chronic infection acute infection reduced albumin and increasing alpha 2 level